Good morning. This is Kelloland on the go with all you need to know on news and weather as you start your weekend. We also have your boredom busters coming up, but first our top story. There has been a heavy police presence in the southwest Sioux Falls neighborhood this morning. Officers responded to a call of a shooting involving multiple victims at a home on South Drexel Drive just before 3 o'clock this morning. Police sealed off the area as they worked the scene. We're waiting on investigators to confirm the shooting and whether any suspects are in custody. Stay with Kelloland News for updates on this developing story through the weekend. We also expect to learn more about the investigation during Monday morning's police briefing, which we will carry live here on Kelloland.com beginning at 1030. Police are investigating a shooting that killed a teenager in Rapid City. It happened Thursday night in Memorial Park. 18-year-old Wanbley Janice was taken to the hospital where he was later pronounced dead. Now police are looking for the shooter. Our investigations division uh, was called to the scene. They took over the investigation, are currently and actively working this investigation. Uh, they worked throughout the evening and night last night. They will continue uh, throughout uh, the coming days to develop more information. Witnesses say the shooting followed an encounter between two groups of people. A seven-year-old girl from Sioux Falls is at the burn unit in St. Paul after being severely injured while trying to start a campfire with her family. Paxton and her parents have been in Minnesota for a few weeks while she's undergoing treatment for her burns. Her parents say Paxton took quick action after wind blew gasoline onto her. I truly think if Paxton hadn't immediately stopped, dropped, and rolled, it would have been way worse. It would have, it would have been over more than 10% of her body, so she did the right thing. Doctors say Paxton will be in the hospital for about a month learning to walk again and getting skin grafts. We've linked the family's GoFundMe to this story on Kelloland.com. Let's take our first look at the forecast now with meteorologist Scott Munt in the Storm Center. Good morning, Scott. Good morning, Perry. Good morning, everybody. We are following a couple of stray showers, parts of central, south, central, south Dakota this morning. They will continue the travel to the southeast. Uh, the best chance to see a rain shower to for the afternoon will be found uh, south of Interstate 90. Expect afternoon highs in the 70s today with light northerly winds. I'll have more details on your Kelloland Live Doppler forecast coming up. All right, thank you very much, Scott. The Sioux Falls Pride Festival has a new location this year. Today's festival will take place at Sioux Falls Stadium. Organizers are excited for what the new venue will offer people who attend the event. We hope that you will enjoy both the field behind me and our shaded vendor area. They will be on the concourse and on the fan decks over second and uh, double deck kind of thing over there. So um, we'll have lots of vendors. We'll still have Kids Corner, of course, but lots of shade and lots of comfortable seating this year. Today's Pride Festival will be a dry event to make it more family friendly and to support people who struggle with sobriety. The festival goes from noon to 5 p.m. The downtown Pride Parade begins at 10 a.m. Celebrate the cultural diversity of Sioux Falls during the Festival of Cultures at Levitt at the Falls. The free festival kicks off at 10.30 this morning with a family Celtic concert from Maggie in the meantime on the front of the Levitt stage. Other activities throughout the day will take place in the parking lot behind the Levitt stage, including performances by the Dakota District Pipe and Drums, Nepali Youth Dancers, Darfuri Dancers, and the Wakpa Ipaksan Drum Singers. Salsa lessons begin at 6.30 tonight on the Levitt stage, followed by the Tough Roots Reggae performance at 7 p.m. and a parade of flags at 7.45. The evening ends with a free concert by the Grammy Award-winning group Lost Tex Maniacs. A fireworks show presented by the Fireworks Store is a benefit for Emily's Hope. Bring your lawn chairs to the T Athletic Complex where the fireworks synchronized with music begin at dusk. The cost is a free will donation. World Oceans Day at the Butterfly House and Aquarium in Sioux Falls includes a creature card scavenger hunt, ocean animal art projects, plus a prize basket raffle. There will also be a ray and shark dock talk at 10.30 this morning and a coral exhibit expert chat at 2.30. The Storm Indoor football team takes on the Vegas Nighthawks in the Danny Sanford Premier Center. Kickoff is at 7.05. And enjoy a night of racing at I-90 Speedway in Hartford. Gates open at 5, hot laps are at 6.30, and the races start at 7. Tickets are $20, $10 for students, and free for ages 12 and under. Scott? 
And in weather this morning, going into the afternoon, we'll watch for a couple of stray rain showers that have developed already this morning. They are continuing to move to the southeast. The best chance to see a rain shower will be south of Interstate 90. As we get into tomorrow, western and southwestern South Dakota will have a a scattered chance of shower or thunderstorm. More widespread activity may occur on Monday, and this will move in the central South Dakota, say late in the evening, Monday, Monday night, and greet us in eastern South Dakota, Minnesota, and Iowa by Tuesday morning. Right behind it, we'll have northwest winds to help bring in some drier air, so we'll probably have a decrease in cloud covers to go through the day on Tuesday. In the meantime, there's that marginal risk for severe weather across western South Dakota, and we'll continue with these scattered chances of showers and thunderstorms as we go into the new work week. As the storm energy will be available, as well as dew point temperatures, which will be higher, to bring in our chance for strong to severe weather that the Storm Prediction Center is already outlining across eastern South Dakota. So we'll watch uh, for our strong to severe weather come midweek of next week as these steady chances for rain will continue across Kettle Land and we'll even throw in parts of central and north central South Dakota that have been missing out on the recent rains. Our forecast in the meantime for today showing afternoon highs will reach the 70s, eventually falling to near 50 for lows tonight. And then for tomorrow, we'll watch for scattered showers and storms in the western South Dakota, highs in the 80s. And you can always check the details of the seven-day forecast while you're here online. Have a great weekend.